Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a random spinning arrow effect in PowerPoint. The circle in the middle is separate from the animation, so you can change the names really quickly and you can reuse the arrow as many times as you want for different projects and different games. To give this animation more of an authentic random feel, you can add a delay to the stop button. So once you click it, it takes three or four seconds for it to actually stop, making it feel more random. So you can see on the left hand side of this uh, video that I've got some bullet points to show you what I'm going to be covering in the video. The first thing is to make a circle and if you click and hold shift whilst you're making that circle, you'll know that circle is perfectly round. Uh, it's very important when you're making these, um, these shapes to make everything perfectly in line uh, because it makes it a lot easier later when you're animating. Especially when you're trying to make things spin, the circle has to be perfectly round. Um, add some arrows and this is going to be the pointer that you're going to be using so you'll use your own creativity to make that arrow uh, a bit more interesting but try and make sure that arrow is within the circle if it's partly outside of the circle then it's going to shift the size of the, um, the vector and that's not going to spin properly so uh, the arrow is within the circle and now I'm going to be adding some some guidelines some crosses along the circle so that it makes it easier later when I'm trying to position the wheel with all the names inside the animation. So group everything together so that it's all one piece and um, you also need to colour it. You want the background of the blue circle to be completely transparent. You want the outline of the wheel and the guidelines to be semi-transparent or just a very light grey and then you want the arrow which is the most important part to be whatever colour is going to suit you. So the next thing I need to do is animate it so I'm going to be using the spin animation. If it's a perfect circle then it will look very uh, tidy and seamless and I want to animate the circle so it only takes about seconds to go all the way around or even less than that maybe 0.75 seconds and now I want that animation to repeat, um, in this case, 50 times, but it doesn't matter, as many times as you want. Once you've set it, click OK, make sure it looks OK. And now we need to save it as an MPEG video and save it to your documents. To do that, you need to make sure all of the background is gone and any other bits on the slide has disappeared and just save just the arrow. And now you want to import it back into your slide. So using that circle that I designed earlier, it makes it easier to crop it so it's the right size. So crop the video just down to the edge of the circle. We go on the slide so shows section and we want to remove the media controls so that it doesn't get in the way when you're playing uh, the slideshow later. And we also want to get rid of advanced slide on click and say and set it for time instead. So now I'm going to be adding the wheel inside of the animation. And this is where I'm going to be adding all the names. Automatically it comes up with a set uh, pie chart. You just need to change the names as many as you want. It's really easy to do. You just replace the names. And you want all the numbers to be exactly the same. So I've just put one for all of them and then they have an equal slice of that pie. Use the um, section to change the, um, the formatting of the pie chart. You want those names to be in the center or in the middle of the uh, the, the slice of their pie. Get rid of the title and we're just going to do a bit of formatting to show you how, it, how easily it can be done. We're going to change the colour. 
To change the text or format the text, just click on one of the boxes and then go on home. And then you can increase the size so it's easier to read, make it bold or italic or underline, change the font and change the color so it stands out. Now bring your animation of the wheel behind the pie chart that you've just made. Make sure it's center back so it's behind it. And now you need to add some buttons, some square buttons or whatever buttons you want. All they are is auto shapes and you're gonna add some text to them. And later on, you're going to specify that those shapes are your buttons. Make sure everything's aligned perfectly and use some formatting on the buttons using the bevel section, the color, um, and then add some text. So add um, a spin text and a pause text or a stop text, anything that you think is right. Now to animate them, you wanna click on the play section on the animation pane and go on effect options and on timing, go on start on click of the play square or the play button. And now for pause, you click on it, go on effect options, go on timing and click and start on the click of the pause button. Now what I'm doing here is very similar to the random dice effect and um, animation or video that I made a few weeks ago. So if you want to make a random dice as well, uh, then have a look at the video. So this is what it looks like. I click on spin, it starts spinning, and I click on stop and it stops. And later on, I'm gonna show you how to add a delay to that stop. If you like the buttons, then you can also watch my video on how to make in more interesting buttons. So the next thing I wanna do is show you how quickly you can change that wheel to some different names and some different colors. So click on edit data and just replace all the names with something that you think is better or for the, for the next round or for the next game. Really easy to do. So now you've got new names and just to make it a bit more varied Add some extra color and change the text formatting. And now it works just the same as the previous one. Now just to make the animation a bit more random so that you don't, you can't really time when to stop the animation, what you can do is go on the delay section for the spin, um, for this pause uh, section of the video and add a delay of three and a half seconds or and now when you click on slideshow and click on play when you click on spin it will start spinning and when you click on stop it will wait three and a half seconds before it stops stopping you from really knowing exactly where it's going to stop If you found this video useful and interesting, then please give it a like and maybe even consider subscribing and maybe check out some of my other videos uh, all about using creativity and animation in PowerPoint. Thanks very much.